Yeah, so Katie was a, a really good celebrity spotter. If we were out and about and she saw somebody, um, a bit like my mum is sometimes, um, you know, she, Katie, I think, inherited that from my mum. My mum's very good at watching films and um, TV programmes and she's able to say, oh, so-and-so was in this and uh, they were married to that person. Um, and the same with Katie, uh, we'd be out and about and Katie would um, spot somebody and say oh that's so and so who was in um, EastEnders or, or that person's a film star or something. And, um, I was in a band with some friends uh, during uh, my university years so that was between the ages of 20, uh, no, 19 and 24 or 25 I think it was. And we did some gigs uh, around Nottingham and um, Leicester, um, down south as well in London, different places. And we had one gig in a place called the Carnarvon Castle. And um, Katie came up with a few friends of hers. The guy um, who was at the, the front desk, um, who was taking the entrance fee, the admission fee, uh, was an Australian guy. And my sister um, looked at him and um, she said, I, I recognize you from somewhere. Um, and then she said, uh, you were in Neighbours, weren't you? Um, about 10 years ago. I can't even remember what the guy's name was, whether it was whether he was called Scott or who he was in Neighbours, but she knew exactly who he was. And he was like, bloody hell. Like, uh, nobody's recognized me for like 10 years. And, um, you know, this was, as I said, 10 years later. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was quite funny.